Jina langu naitwa Taksidi Syagola Ouma. Mimi ni mkaji wa Malanga, Masiri area. Mimi nina watoto wanne. Niko na mume. Mtoto wa kwanza kwa form 2. Wa pili class 7. Wa tatu 4. Wa nne 2. Mzigo niliobeba ni watano. Article 43 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 guarantees every person the highest attainable standard of health, which includes the right to health care services, including reproductive health care. In Kenya, dispensaries make about 74% of all public health facilities and are a critical piece in the health care system because they provide essential health care at community level. Malanga Dispensary in Busia County is one such facility. However, it is unable to meet the demand for various services, forcing area residents to seek medical assistance far off. In particular, the case of reproductive health care comes to fore. Asa sisi kama wa mama wajawazitu, uneza patwa na uchungu, kwa kawaida mama kujifungua, na hauna mukunga karibu. Na sasa ukikuja hapa, labda daktari hawana manyumba zao, wenye ukikuja maternity itakubidi uvumilie uende na mbale the supply of drugs is not adequate because sometimes we get drugs that are very essential especially this area being a malaria pandemic uh, endemic area we have so many patients having malaria there is a shortage of drugs especially the essential drugs which are needed in a dispensary. They are not being supplied adequately. The dispensary would have been able to offer reproductive health care services and other essential services had there been effective consultation at the onset of devolution. However, the facility compound has a number of stalled projects that include a maternity wing. This is due to lack of proper consultation and inadequate allocation of resources towards completion of existing projects. <laughs> ilijengwa na CDF na wakati kaunti ilikuja haiku consult sasa kuna vitu yote mbili haitusaidi na imekula kiasi hii haifanyi kazi hiyo haiendelei na pesa zimemwagika pale uh, there is incinerator here and it's not complete so when you look at uh, what these facilities have and those are great ideas are just what we are trying to now see how to fit in with the resources from the county government. The round one sort of devolution, eh, you know, most people had really not understand various roles. Every MCA wanted to have this milestone of just bringing up projects and the building buildings, and to them it was brick and mortar. That is what could show that actually they are working. But uh, there was not enough consultation between, uh, between uh, the department and them. The project was there previously, maybe by CDF or is started by somebody else, but it's never finished. You start, end up starting another, another project. The people in that area are really not getting even the service they're supposed to be getting. Because we have elephant projects there that are not finished and they cannot be used. Lack of public participation, particularly in prioritization in the budget-making process, gave politicians autonomy on how development funds were used. This was occasioned by lack of capacity at community level to engage the county government in identifying and budgeting for the priorities. We don't have enough capacity at the community level in terms of public participation to really critically analyze and interrogate budgets. And communities have abrogated their role and left it to politicians to play around with their budgets. No wonder sometimes we get very skewed implementation of projects because this could come to the advantage of the politician instead of to the advantage of the general voter. It is for this reason that the International Budget Partnership Kenya, in partnership with the Community Empowerment Development Center, CEDC, developed a model that incorporates budget champions individuals trained to understand the budgeting process and competently deliberate on budget issues affecting their community. Hatukwa na ufahamu wa miradi ambao zinakuwa zinaendelea kwa area yetu wa ward yetu na kwa county as a whole. Kwa hivyo hii ilifanya ni jiunge na CDC nifunzwe vile ya kuwa budget champion kufuatilia budget process, your yeah, yeah, account and national. For me, success, in fact, will be 
if they engage that third tier. If budget champions now in their communities are engaging with those uh, community members, we will have made a big, 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 big move in capacity building. Understanding budgets and engaging in the budget process through public participation is already making a positive impact on projects prioritized further down at the ward level. But through their lobbying, those budget cafes, those meetings at the community level, we have seen the MCA come on board. Through the efforts of CIDEC, we have seen that that, co that community in Malanga is going to benefit because the maternity is underway. The, million, the 8 million that has been allocated, we're sure it's going to finish that maternity. When I reported here, there were so many stalled buildings. And uh, through the working hand in hand with CDEC, we were able to meet the Chief Officer of Health and also the County Assembly. And they allocated some funds for this facility. So we are praying that those funds that have been allocated, they'll do some marvelous job. On the ground. Although the maternity wing at the dispensary may not be ready for Praxidis with her current pregnancy, mothers like her will soon enjoy quality health care at their doorstep thanks to efforts being made by the budget champions and the rest of the community. <laughs> ni hapa malanga ningependa nikikuja hapa usiku hata nikipatwa na uchungu na nikuja hapa usiku daktari akue anihudumie akisha anihudumia hata nikiwa na shida ingine kitokezea nitibiwe nikienda nyumbani nikiwe sa, niwe salama hata mtoto akikuja akiwa hali mbaya kwa sababu ukikuja hapa haukuange na pesa ingine ya kwenda na mbali ama ya kwenda busia Wao wanatudumia vizuri, tunapata madawa ya kutosha, tunatibu watoto wetu ama sisi wenyewe pia tunajitibu, tunaenda nyumbani. Hapo tutafurahia. <tune>